United Arab Emirates is one of the best countries in the world. There are tourist resorts, beaches, and hospitals that resemble five-star hotels and are equipped with the latest technology. There, computer systems are relied upon for administration. There are the highest salaries and there are also the best roads in the world. Today we will tell you the secret behind it. Welcome, followers of the Facts and Secrets channel. The United Arab Emirates is filled with an extensive network of roads. Most roads between cities have lanes in at least one direction. There is no crowding there. Also, night lighting is available everywhere. There is no high-quality asphalt only on the main streets of cities. But also in secondary streets and even in those roads that pass through the desert, but this was not the case before. Upon attaining independence in 1971, there were no paved roads in the Emirates. That same year, the first asphalt plant was established in the country. In the year 1972, a Saudi company paved the first highway linking Sharjah with Ras Al Khaimah at a distance of a precious kilometer by the end of the year 1976, and the length of the paved highways in the UAE reached 900 kilometers. Today, its length exceeds 4,000 kilometers. Since the year 2000 the UAE has been at the forefront of road quality. This country has established itself in that position thanks to modern technologies. Among them is the superpower technology that was developed in the United States of America. Late 1990s. The essence of this technology is that the composition of asphalt concrete is different from one road to another. And taking into account the climatic characteristics and the road load. This allows for different problems, including deformation and cracking, to be solved, which means avoiding the cost of periodic repair. It should also be noted that there is no such thing as road reform in the UAE. If any method suffers damage, that section will be removed entirely. It is returned from scratch. Driver warnings are placed kilometers away from the workspace. Temporary avoidance methods are also provided. Warning signs illuminate day and night thanks to solar power and batteries. This is evidence of the utmost concern for the safety and comfort of citizens. The problem with road construction is the unavailability of raw materials in some areas, especially crushed stones. In order to prepare a road in a region, there should be several trucks lined up near the workspace. The main highway in the country is the Sheikh Zayed Road that starts from Sharjah and runs through Dubai. Then the capital, Abu Dhabi, and ends at the border with Saudi Arabia. On that road there are seven lanes in each direction. The maximum permissible speed is 80 km per hour. As for the mountain roads, the best one is the Jabal Hafid Road. It is the widest mountain road in the world, with a length of more than 11 km. It rises about 1,219 meters above sea level. This road also passes along the border with the empty quarter desert. For speed on the main road is 60 km per hour. Because the slow movement can cause a lot of congestion on the UAE roads. On the UAE roads there are a lot of signs. The most important thing is the presence of radars and surveillance cameras. And that is the extent of compliance with the traffic law. The minimum fines are $200. The system for calculating traffic fines in the UAE is different. The police will not stop the driver unless the violation is serious. As for minor violations, they are recorded in a digital system. In the case of drugs and alcohol, a fine of $6,500 will be paid. For imprisonment, drivers must avoid hitting volleys as well. These animals have a special place in the Emirates. And if there is any traffic accident, the driver is obligated to provide compensation for the material damage and also the moral damage caused to the owner of the camel. Traffic jams can only happen in the evening. This is not surprising, especially if we know that the cost of gasoline is only half a dollar per liter. This makes cars a convenient means of transportation for residents. Emirates does not stop there. In fact, it still spends millions of dollars annually to develop the road network. In the year 2000, the country was supposed to host an international exhibition. Therefore, ensuring transportation without traffic congestion was one of the country's concerns. 
In view of the situation in which the world is living today, the event has been postponed to the year 2000. This means that the UAE has more time to develop roads. If you have visited the Emirates before, share your comments and tell us your opinion on the roads there. If you like today's topic, do you know, do not be stingy with admiration and participation. You can also follow our previous videos.